we were both um, very mature students doing an MA at, in, at Leicester University. The librarian got out for us a collection of 30 diaries. At this point, um, my dear colleague here rang me up and said, didn't you do your dissertation on diaries? So I affirmed. And she said, well, perhaps you'd like to come and have a look at these. At that point, uh, we put together this book about women from all over the country who had successful lives. My husband had an ancestor from, he, he basically comes from Norfolk, um, and this was a woman who emigrated, as many, many did uh, in, in the 19th century, went to Canada and became very wealthy. We went to the record office in Norwich and trawled through hundreds and hundreds of directories. We found these sisters and then dug around, as we had dug around with Susanna, and found that they were moneylenders. And that was another surprise, really, that yes. women were doing this. It was very much a question of casting around and seeing who we could find, who, who left enough documentary evidence behind them to make a chapter, who did whatever it was they did for a long enough period to be interesting. And to be successful. And to be successful. I discovered that later on in the century, in Cromer, there were two ladies who were lighthouse keepers. One wasn't there for very long, she died quite young, but her sister Mary was lighthouse keeper in Cromer. And then there was the woman we found in Great Yarmouth um, who persuaded her husband, who was a sort of fish catcher, fish monger, and pushed his cart around the streets. And she suggested they opened a shop where they could sell his fish 24 hours a day if they could keep it open. Mm -hmm. And he must have agreed because they did. And eventually, over the years, it well, eventually they ended up with four shops in Great Yarmouth. Another of the women we found, I actually found through a friend of mine in Leicestershire, who's very keen on family history. And she discovered that one of her husband's, I think it was her husband's great aunt, had been the matron of Colney Hatch Mental Hospital. Uh, in the 1850s. There was also a dressmaker. I did my doctorate on dressmaking in the 19th century and I wanted to use some of that research. So I cast around for a successful dressmaker and I came up with a lady called Susanna Everett who was born in Wells next to the sea but moved to King's Lynn when she was in. I discovered a novelist um, who is very well received in Norfolk, still is, the person uh, that I think I would have liked most uh, is a lady called Nellie Ellen Cam, who was a schoolmistress in Harleston. Uh, but what interested me about her was I found some letters from her to one of her friends in Norwich, written when she was a governess out in a place called Solotvina, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, which is now in the Ukraine, but in those days was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. You, you find a record and it looks as if it's going to tell you lots. And so you try to trace the person who kept the record, the letter or whatever it is, in the census, and they don't seem to be there. That's always very frustrating. This is because the census records sometimes are not very accurate, are they? Um, and spellings are and peculiar. spellings are very, very peculiar. The real, the real issue, as far as we're concerned, is to find something that tells us about the individual, something that is individual to them, uh, and then to be able to expand this with births, deaths, marriages, census returns, directory entries, and so on, which give you factual snapshots at various stages throughout their lives. We always, always go to the place where the person lived um, and try and get a feel of what was it like here. And once you get there, it's surprising how many people you meet who know something or who have something to tell you about that place in the past. I think we want to shed some light on the lives of women in the 19th century and to make it clear to people that even women who were not famous led interesting lives. And successful yes. lives. And successful, and successful lives. lives.